Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Favor Brandon TV, coming back to you guys with another video on the late review that I should have been have given, guys, off one of my most favorite, uh, outstanding TV shows that I relate to so much. 13 Reasons Why on Netflix, guys. It's the original series. It, it appeared March 31st. Guys, I'm late because I've been so busy with school. Um, and, you know, um, but 13 Reasons Why was amazing, guys. Uh, I've had a blast. I've been watching this show nonstop like crazy. And um, that show is so relatable to my life um, because uh, I have spent, my high school years being talked about teased. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people who are different like me have uh, witnessed and gone through so much um, uh, uh, trauma, so much, um, so much just uh, drama, so much backstab, so much um, heartbreak, so much people, uh, you know, lying and saying that they're your friends and they really not. So many people, you know, plotting. And uh, just so many, just a lot of peer pressure, just peer pressure. Um, uh, and this show just really, really teaches you not to treat people badly because you never know um, what people go through. Now, uh, I've never wanted to kill myself, but uh, I have had moments where I have, you know, felt like I was just, people just didn't like me because people just didn't, you know, understand who. And at that time, I was still finding myself who I was, you know, and uh, it's not. You know, that I ever felt suicidal, because I've never felt suicidal, but in her case, in Hannah's case on the show, and Hannah Baker, you know, poor her, poor soul, you know, I, I just, I wonder where they're going to take season two, because I'm hearing it's supposed to be season two, but... You know, the show is, it just talks about, you know, the adolescence of teenagers, what teenagers go through, what teenagers don't tell their parents, you know, that they go through, you know, through a high school. You know, four years is a bitch, okay? And and then the high school I went to, boy, I went through it, you know. Uh, I just went through people, you know, just, you know, scheming on me and just. You know, just people just being assholes, you know, and it goes to that, you know, eventually, you know, if you can, I, at that time, I couldn't take it. I was enraged because I was always, you know, you know, doubting other, you know, blaming other people for my own problems. And at that time, I, you know, uh, was was blaming myself, not loving myself for who I was. And, you know, I, I, I eventually got over it. You know, I, I forgave a lot of people, you know, who they, you know, I forgave people, you know, and I've, 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 I've gave people, you know, my heart, you know, I've gave people, you know, everything, you know, I've been truly myself, you know, even, even, you know, uh, man, throughout all the stuff that I've been through, I can't even name, but I have, I've been one of the ones throughout school period, throughout school period, T's talked about, pushed to the curve, made, made it feel like I was less of a person, you know, by being different. And uh, that that's that's what high school would do to you. That's what high school did to me more than any other uh, grade school that I've ever been in did to me. You know, but I just really, really like the story. I don't want to spend too much time about my life and why I relate to it. I want to talk about what I love about the story. Uh, it has a unique twist about it. Uh, you know, it's just about a guy, Clay Jensen, uh, who uh, just really, really had a, a, a thing of, for Hannah Baker. Hannah Baker was the girl who committed suicide. Um, people didn't know why she did it. You know, people didn't care why she did it. Even the, her so-called friends didn't care why she did it. You know, but they went through stuff themselves. You know, they was trying to cover up stuff just to keep another person safe. And, you know, it was all on tape. Hannah recorded every, recorded 13 tapes, 13 reasons why she did what she did, why, she, why her life has ended. You know, and uh, it basically was just, uh, I believe she did it a week before or something like that. She committed suicide. You know, um, I don't want to go too deep into the details, but we know she committed suicide. And uh, the guidance counselor, also known as Derek Luke, I can never remember his name. Count, he's the counselor. But Derek Luke is an amazing actor. You all have seen him on the tour. You've seen him on the um, Tyler Perry movies. You've seen them on a lot of stuff. And he, you know, tried to help the kids. Uh, you know, he tried to, you know, get close to Hannah because Hannah was the one that was having problems more than anybody. Hannah, uh, basically, they claimed that she was bringing the problems on herself. But uh, in, in my defense, you know, she put her trust in people and people always, you know, shitted on her. And 
uh, that happens. You know, when you when you could be such a nice person, you know, people trying to make her look like she was a slut. And people was just trying to make it look like she was worthy of a person. And, you know, fr uh, the ones who was her so-called friends, Jessica and Courtney, they was, you know, Je well, Jessica, she was just, I don't know what her deal was, but Courtney was the was the phoniest bitch of them all, okay? I didn't like Courtney. She was my, le my least favorite character. Also, no, and also, Bryce... God, don't even get me started. He was the rapist of the show. He raped her. He raped Jessica. And, you know, it was just a lot going on in it, this dialogue. But the tapes really, 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 really did bring a good, you know, because people don't even use tapes anymore. T tapes are obsolete. Now, people use CDs, iPhones, you know, but they wanted to add something a little bit more retro to the story. And that's what I really loved about the show. You know, they added tapes as uh like you know it, it kind of which kind of gave me a little 80s feel to the show even though it was it's modern but it brought something more classic to the show um and i would say it, it doesn't just focus around teenagers i would say adults can can relate to it too because adults you know elders have you know once been in high school and they have witnessed you know being talked about being teased about being drove to commit suicide i'm sure lord forbid you know i'm so against that but it happens you know and people don't know the, people don't know what go, what goes on with people that's why you should never uh, uh, treat people pe uh, uh, badly. You should want to treat people how you want to be treated because uh, oh, I hope I don't start getting in my feelings, but I just felt so sad for Hannah because I know what that feels like. Feeling like you're less of a person. Feeling like you just oh, Jesus. Don't do this. Don't do this. But I just know what it feels like. To, to 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 see people go through that type of thing. But anyway, I'm 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 not gonna think too much about it because I don't want to start crying. But it, it's sad what that girl went through on the show. And Clay Jensen, you know, Lord bless his soul, he wanted to try to get to the bottom of every person that had something to do in Hannah's life. You know, it, it, but I really like the characters overall. I love the characters. I like the acting. Bryce, uh, people like Bryce, you just really want to hate his guts. But he's a, such a good actor, the guy who played him. Uh, I got to give him his props because you hate him, but... They also did a thing, um, a uh, behind the scenes of Thirteen Reasons Why that that I really, really, really he seemed so different, you know. Uh, he seemed so different than when he did on the show, but they actually had him talking and talking about, you know, the the, the show and you know his character was such a, a asshole and and such a oh my god, oh, I just hate his character, but. I just really liked it. I liked it. Uh, Marcus, Marcus, he was the he was the, the the one of the ones that kiss everybody ass. You got Zach. Um, the characters are amazing overall. The characters are amazing, but they all had something to do with the reason why Hannah did what she did, you know. And at the end of it, it, it really shouldn't have went to committing suicide, but it did, and that was the sad part of the show, you know. Uh, um, I was so sad that she didn't get a chance to speak and and say what what the problem really was. Uh, you know, like to her parents, she never talked to her parents. She never spoke up about to the counselor. She never spoke to the principal. She just kept all that stuff hidden inside of her, and it just made her, it made her pop, and she just gave up on life. And that's just something that a teenager, you know, she never had a chance to go to college. You know, she, you know, it was just so sad. And and then uh, you got people like Tony, who was the ones who tried to be friends with her, who was also best friends with Clay Jensen. Uh, uh, who was also LGBT as well, which I also thought brought an interesting uh, storyline to the to the show because um, you know uh, so many you just never know what goes on in people's uh, thoughts. You never know, so it, it's best to pe to treat people how you would want to be treated. You know, you know, leave people the hell alone. You know, don't. I just, I just, I, I, I don't want to think too much about it because stuff like that makes me feel so sad. The girl, that girl never really had a chance to uh, go to, co you know, college, prom, you know, she gonna miss out on everything. But stuff like this happened, you know, that's why this show is so relatable to teenagers' lives and what goes on with teenagers nowadays because it's so much peer pressure that goes on in school. They don't even let their parents know what goes on. You feel me? And it's so sad that kids, you know, uh, who do 
eventually decide to commit suicide, how they don't never live their life, you know, because people say so much bad things about them. People you know, spit on them. People do all types of things. Bullying is just something that is just not good, especially in today's society with kids now generation. Thank God I'm 24 and I went through it, but I, 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 I got over it. You know, I eventually got over and said, Philip, you are who you are, you know, and that's just what it is. But um, I just, I just, I, I want to do this video because I really, really, you know, I'm late as hell, but I really, really relate to that show deeply, you know, uh, deeply. Like I know what Hannah went through, you know, her being, her being a female, me being a male, I understand what it is to, to feel like you are less of a person to feel like people don't like you to feel like every time you put your trust in someone who you consider a friend, they go and turn on, they go and backstab you, you know, and it has happened to me thousands of times from middle school to high school. It has happened. It is, it is times that I just felt like I just wanted to give up, but I never did give up that guy and I'm here you know and you know I don't care who like it and who don't like it so that's my outcome now I've been through it you know I have times where I you know have trust issues on certain people but I eventually get over it and I am who the hell I am but I just this this, this that show just really teaches you just to stay in your lane and, and leave people the fuck alone you know, and that's that. That's what I just want people to understand about this video. Uh, the characters, I just really got to give them their props because they did an amazing job. I relate to all the characters in some shape or form. You know, um, uh, the 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 twist is amazing. The, you know, I felt so sad for Hannah's parents because they never knew what she was going through. You know, why she cut her, eventually cut her hair. You know, why she, you know, uh, had lost. Uh, important paperwork, you know, just, they just didn't know what was going on, and, uh, you know, lo you know, it's just a lot going on, the show itself kind of had a little Veronica Mars, which is one of my favorite, uh, CW shows, I talk about tremendously from YouTube videos to YouTube videos ago, uh, um, um, it, it reminds me of a lot of those teen shows that I used to watch coming up, OC, um, it was just a, it's just an amazing show. It just has a lot. Uh, so many people can relate to it, and I'm just glad that the director, uh, um, Selena Gomez, is the one who uh, is the executive producer of the show. I found out. Shout out to her, cause uh, it it has happened. You know, anybody can relate to it. It has happened. You know, people have been through it, and I, I I'm not a huge Selena Gomez fan, but I I think that her being an executive producer, she knows what the hell teenagers go through. You know, that she's a young adult, but. Uh, I, I, I gotta give her her props because I thought that she was the uh, executive producer. Shout out to all the people. Shout out to Netflix because I love Netflix to the core. I'm always finding out new TV shows. I just love Netflix. That's my fucking cable, okay? But I I just had to get this video out. I'm, I'm, a, I'm 13 minutes already into the video. I don't want to spend too much time talking about it, but you guys basically get what the show is about. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about the details of how she killed herself. You know, if you haven't seen it, find out what happened. Find out each person's reason, each episode. Find out about the tapes. Find out the epic dialogues of the story. Uh, you, will, you will get inspired. Uh, just check it out. It's on Netflix. Uh, if you don't have Netflix, pay eight ninety nine a month for it, baby. You can't beat that. Uh, it's one of the top listers on Netflix at this moment. So many people have been raving about this show. Uh, I can't wait for season two. This is Fabric Brandon TV signing off. Deuces.